Hello everyone, welcome to a very quick tutorial on Textify. On my left I have my program files directory and on my right I have my Textify directory. Go into your program files directory, click on Adobe, click on Adobe After Effects CC 2014, click on support files, click on scripts, click on script UI panels and in here is where you drag in your script. Obviously you wouldn't have as many scripts as I do, but what you do is you select this jsx.bin file, ignore these two files, and drag that in, like so. And just like that, your script is installed. After it has been installed, launch After Effects, create a new composition, select Window, and click Textify you'll be granted like this. Select the Textify window and dock it anywhere you'd like. I like to dock it around here. The first thing you do is you create a new text layer. So select the text layer tool and create something. Center it. And the first thing you want to do when you create this layer is you want to textify the layer. So you click this button right here on the very top left corner. In order to textify it, that adds the uh, required expressions, properties, everything, and gives you these three basic sliders, the offset, the speed, and the bounce. Once you have these, you want to select either in animation or in out animation. For this tutorial, I'm going to start with the in animation. Click on it and choose any property you wish to animate. In this case, I'm going to start with the position property. Go to the start, move any value you'd like, and watch it now. You can see there's a very basic animation with your position property. Let's add another one, make sure you have it selected. Click scale, and I'm going to make that 0, 0. If you watch it now, it looks like that. These three basic property sliders can be adjusted in order to affect this animation. For example, I could change the bounds to 4, and this will add a bit of an overshoot. I can change the speed to 5 in order to make it a little bit slower, although it's not very noticeable. The offset can be changed in order to affect the spacing between each letter. So if I make this 0.4, this will obviously make it much faster. Select it, I can add another property, let's say rotation. Make it 45. And now I get a bit of a angle, like so. Create a new text layer. I'm going to say hello for this one. I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller. And this time, I'm going to try adding some 3D properties. So textify the layer once again. And I'm going to add, let's say, a position property. But this time, I want to animate the Z value. Now, obviously, if I do it now, it's not going to work. The reason being is this layer is not a 3D layer. So you can click this, but that's not enough. You have to click Animate and click Enable Per Character 3D. Once you have selected that option, go to the start and drag the Z value to anything you like. So now, if you watch the animation, we have a very slick 3D animation. Let's say I have this very complex animation right here. How would I delete, let's say, the skew axis property? Make sure you select your layer, click skew axis, and click delete. Just like that, the property will be deleted from here and from here. What if you wanted to delete everything? Just like this one right here. What if you wanted to totally untextify the layer and even get rid of this and revert it to a totally new layer? Just click this one right here. 
let's say you just opened a project file and you have this animation. You select the current layer, yet nothing appears in this list box. But there are so many properties up here. Why isn't it updating? The reason why is because you have to interact with the script in order for the, the script to detect that you have selected a layer. So click the update button whenever this happens. Just like that, the script will detect your currently selected layer and provide the properties that you have added. One of my favorite features is the randomize feature. If I select the layer, click textify and click random. Just like that, it will generate a bunch of random values and properties into my animation. The cool part is, let's say I want to mirror the in animation into the out animation. All I do is go to my in animation tab and click mirror. Just like that, if we watch the animation now, it exits the exact same way out. And the properties are the exact same. Thank you so much. If you would like to purchase a script, please visit my website down below in the description. Thank you again.